Hey guys, and welcome to Wet Weather Riding Tips and Tricks. First off, you don't need an umbrella when you're on the bike. However, it can be useful to have the right gear and a good wet weather riding suit. Oh! All right, after that uh, drenching, what's the first uh, tip and trick of wet weather riding on your motorbike? The gear. What am I wearing now? I've got the Alpine Stars. Uh, it's a wetsuit. A wetsuit's really good. So basically it's an all-in-one, like a boiler suit style, and it covers your whole body. And that, along with your helmet, gloves are a different story. I've got some great boots here, stylish ones, and they're also really waterproof. So that's a bonus. Hands are a different story, but other than that, some really good waterproof all-in-one suit is a great way to start for wet weather riding and to stay dry. On top of that, you wanna be high visibility. So you wanna be thinking high vis stuff really, like in weather like this, it's just gray and dismal and not pleasant. And then you run into traffic jams like this. You don't want someone running up behind you. Basically in poor weather, especially wet weather, you really want to be as high visibility as possible. And just on that point, it looks like we may have a prime example of why you want to be high visibility as possible. It seems like there's been an accident here. There's been a massive storm in the UK recently. And uh, yeah, not sure what's happened, but basically you want to look like those guys, as high vis as possibly can. Right, change of plan, where are we going? Okay guys, it's pretty wild out here. Pick the day to film this. Tip number two and trick number two, to remain safe, you want to be avoiding these little suckers. The painted lines on the road. Now, even when it's dry, it's good practice. You really want to be avoiding the white, white painted lines or any color paint for that matter, regardless of the color. But when it's wet, it is a different matter. This, these become so slippery. You really do want to be avoiding those painted lines in the wet weather, because they can, they can be really, really slippy like very slippy. In Europe, I've found they're much worse as well. I'm not sure what it's like in the States. Europe can be bad, UK is pretty bad as well. So watch out for that pa those painted lines, guys. They're everywhere. Obviously, you can go over it and go straight over the lines. You're not just gonna, it's not just gonna slip you up and throw you off the bike. It's not out to get you, but I'm relatively slow here in town, but if we're out on the motorway, you're on a main, ro main road and you're going quicker. You don't really want to be leaning. If you're coming around a corner, leaning and hitting a big slab of paint, it, paint on the road, that really could slip you up. So point number two, avoid those lines. On to point number three, wet weather tip. It's actually weirdly, it's not raining now. Bit of a shame, it's been tipping it down and it stopped. Anyway, point number three, road positioning is an important one. So watching out for the condition of the road surface. Now, depending on where you're riding and the road situation with the corners and the cars and elevations, etc., you don't really want to be riding in the middle of the road like this. This is generally where most of the water's gonna be because if you're on a busy road, you have the two cars, tracks, the wheels. Basically, you want to be following the cars, the cars, wheels, tracks, if that makes sense. Because their tires are designed to basically cut through the water and displace it either side of the tire so that you don't aquaplane. So if you're caught out on the motorway, especially on like motorways, dual carriageways, or fast sort of A roads. You don't want to be in the middle of the lane because that's where the, all of the rough stuff from the other cars and the, the water pooling up is all going to be. So bear that in mind to stay where in the tracks of where the other vehicles have been. And this sort of um, works for lots of conditions other than just rain. I find it works for when it's muddy as well or if it's snowing. It's often quite a good rule of thumb to follow the tracks of the other cars because they've cleared the road for you. Make use of the cars. Think, think smart, ride smart. So on a bit more of a country lane like this, a better example, you get the puddles on the side of the road and you look in the middle of the road here. Stop using my hands, it's not very safe. 
middle of the road you get all that debris generally if it's been raining it's gonna be more muddy you're gonna get more debris on the roads wind generally comes with rain so you don't want to be in that center road bit that's where all the gravel is it's going to be slippy stay away from that center center section of the road so a prime example of the road if you can see dirty clean do that again dirty slippery not good clean good Now this next section you may find counterintuitive but point number four is a good one or keep you more comfortable in the rain. So for point number four, just a quick one, see that sign? The training ground of Bath Rugby. If you like your rugby and you're a rugby fan, Farley House where Bath Rugby train in Somerset. Amazing place, cool place. Anyway, back to the point. The fourth tip is to do with your helmet. Excuse my uh, GoPro mods on the side, they're, they're a bit in the way. But to stay more comfortable, what you want to be doing... Oh, rain's coming down now. Basically what you want to be doing is you can either leave a little gap just open in the helmet, let a bit of air flow through, or you've got vents on your helmet. And on the top... May sound counterintuitive, but if you open those up you'll get some fresh air coming through, which actually it, it vents the helmet rather than you're not going to get a load of rain coming in don't open your visor right up and you'll get soaked just a little bit or close the visor and the vents it just keeps it fresh it's not going to get damp and like dewy inside your helmet top tip look at that if you can see that house unbelievable farley hungerford house check it out anyway Another top tip on that, to stop you from fogging up in rain and bad weather, your visor fogging up so you can't see. It's an absolute nightmare. Funny story on it. I rode my bike for about a year and a half, all year round, every day of the week commuting to work. And it, my visor was just steaming up the whole time. And I was like, how, I was thinking, how do motorbikers do this? This is an absolute nightmare. Like, I don't know what to do about this. I was constantly wiping my visor, cleaning it, riding around with poor visibility, steamed up the whole time. Problem completely solved. Get yourself a pin lock visor insert. That completely solves the problem. They are amazing little pieces of kit. Point number four. Avoid standing water. I'm sure you all know and appreciate the simple joys of splashing around in a puddle from your youth. And even now. And that's okay to do on foot. As long as you've got waterproof gear on. But not recommended on your motorbike. Don't go looking for puddles to splash around in whilst on your motorbike. So that's tip number four. Avoid standing water. Puddles. Uh, whether the water's moving, sort of in the, in the road here, maybe coming across the road, mainly due to aquaplaning, which if you haven't heard, it's when you sort of, you skip along the water and you're, you're basically losing traction. That wasn't the best explanation, but basically you lose complete traction and you just have no control over the bike. Be sure to concentrate like along here and avoid all of the standing water especially the quicker you're going as well as not wanting to aquaplane another one avoid the puddles because you don't know, actually know what's underneath it it could be a big pothole especially in the UK with the condition of our roads and you don't want that especially if it's raining you're trying to enjoy your ride in the rain you don't want to be smashing into a big pothole to ruin your day Ride smart, avoid the standing water. Last but very much not least point in wet weather riding. Manhole covers, keep an eye on these pesky ones. Generally, 
try to avoid them whatever the conditions. But if it's wet weather, these are super slippy. You can go, if you're going in a straight line it's alright, but going round the corner, yeah. The old manhole cover, avoid at all costs. Now I must stress, when avoiding them actually, don't try to avoid them so much that you're putting yourself in danger in another circumstance. So if there's an oncoming car coming, always check behind you, you know, basic motorbiking rules. Always check, look, look over your shoulder if you're uh, changing your line. Be aware of those manhole covers, along with the paint, like here. I'm definitely going to dodge those two little, those little critters could slip you up, helps if you have it in gear. If you do find yourself coming over a manhole, excuse the, the uh, choice of words there, uh, <laughs> just sort of ride it out. Don't tense up or try and swerve off of it. If you're going to it, just go with it, relax, stay, stay upright and just straight over because they can be slippy those. I'll put the links guys for this wonderful rain suit down in the description and for the magical lifesaver pin lock insert down in the description of the video. Check those out if you want. So of course, if you don't fancy facing the rain outside, there's absolutely no shame heading to the local pub and having a nice cold one. You don't always have to be out on the bike, whatever you're comfortable with. Till the next time, see you in the next one.